Hello there everyone, this is Thavius Beck. In the following tutorial course, we're going to go over Ableton Live 12 thoroughly. This is a 101 course, so if you've never used Ableton Live before, this is a perfect place to start. And for those of you Ableton Live veterans, you're sure to pick up some tips that are going to help your workflow. There's been quite a lot that's been added to the DAW, but if you're approaching it for the first time, all of this will just seem like commonplace tools, uh, which are very, very useful. So, just a basic overview. Uh, one of the big things that makes Ableton Live unique is this particular screen, which is called the Session View. And in the Session View, we have tracks that are vertical columns, and we have these different clip slots where we can place musical ideas, and you can launch these at any point and mix and match them freely, which makes this a great place to sketch out your ideas and also for live performance. In addition to that, there is also the Arrangement View, which is a more traditional linear arranger uh, where we can organize ideas and basically sketch out the song and finalize how it's going to flow. Now, on our way towards completing a musical idea, Ableton Live gives you a ton of different tools from different synths, drum racks, tons of audio and MIDI effects, different ways to modulate things, and uh, there's even some new generative tools as well to help you get started if you get stuck or give you some additional inspiration to augment your ideas. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in and make sure that our preferences are set up properly so we can really take advantage of the program. 